Hello friends, today we are going to study about how to construct a histogram when class intervals are not same. You can see here 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to so all class intervals are different. I am writing here so that you can come to know it is called class interval or you can call it class width also. Now we can see 1 to 2 so gap of 1 again 1 class width then 2 and then 2 5 to 7 so 7 to 10 so 3 5 to 10 to 15 so 5 numbers are there then 15 17 to 15 so 2 numbers are when class intervals are different we cannot directly compare their frequencies so if we will draw its graph also then also the comparison will be wrong so what we have to do we have to find a new frequency that will divide this all the classes equally and then graph will also change here we will not get simple bars we will get big and different different bars that we will I will explain now this frequency will not work so we have to find out new frequency for that for finding new frequency what we have to do we have to divide this frequency by class interval this and then we have to multiply this phi upon 1 with lowest class interval. Lowest class interval. First we have to see which one is the lowest class interval. 1 is the lowest. So first we will divide this frequency upon class interval means phi upon 1. And then multiply with 1. Here 3 by 1. And then multiply with 1. Here 6 by 2. Then multiply with 1. Here 12 by 2. Then multiply with 1. Here 9 by 3. Then multiply with 1. And then 10 by 5. And multiply with 1. Then 4 by 2. And multiply with 1. So we will get new frequency. This will be the true, true frequency for this class. So 5 by 1 into 1, what you will get? 5 only. 3 by 1 into 1, you will get 3. Now 6 by 2, so we can cancel it and we will get 3. 3 into 1, 3. 12 by 2, so this will be 6 into 1, so 6. 3, 9 by 3, so this will be 3. 10 by 5, 5 1s and 5 2s are, so it will be 2. 4, 4 and 2, so 2 1s and 2 2s are, so this will be Two. If class interval is more, then we have to multiply with it. Now we are getting a new class, new frequency, and this is our old class. So we have to use this class and this frequency for constructing a histogram. Look here, I am going to construct it here. We know what we have to do. X-axis and Y-axis, class on X-axis and frequency on Y-axis. So I am going to do it look here first we have to draw this x-axis sorry this is our y-axis this is y-axis and here we are going to draw next So this is our x-axis and this will be our y-axis. Now this point is the origin. So this is the format that we are generally using class on x-axis and frequency on y-axis. We know the classes are 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3 but we have to see the lowest gap is 1 so we have to take the distribution of 1 only but here the data are very big so I am drawing it by taking this small 5 numbers as 1 then 5 numbers as 2 then here 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 17 we have to take 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. 
you can make big one also here i am not able to put this page into my camera so i am taking the small boxes yeah you can take big numbers also now we know the highest frequency here it's six so easily we can take one two three four five and six if highest frequency is 12 all one then we can we should take here one then here two and here then it's okay now we know the highest frequency is six so we can take gap of one like this now what we have to do we know the first class one two two is having a frequency of five so first we have to start with one and it is having five so here i am drawing it this will be our one this will be our first class then two two three it's two two three three so we have to get, take here three now you will not get the bar of same size everywhere look here i am going to now three two five and the frequency is three so here we have to move up to five look here this is three to five then five to seven frequency is six so we will go up to six and this is five to seven so this is six and up to seven we have to move now seven to ten three so from seven to ten we have to move okay i am taking it up to ten up to ten we had moved this is little bit lighter if you draw it with dark pencil then you come to know and then from 10 to 15 2 so i am drawing it with the dark pen so that you come to know 10 to 15 2 is there so from 10 it's 11 12 13 14 and up to 15 here so we had gone up to 15 here look this bar is fat better than all the others and look here now 15 to 17 2 so again 15 to 17 we have to move to get to one so this way we have to represent or we have to draw the graph when the classes are not same or you can say having class interval different thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much